Hey everyone, what's up? This is BBT Tech, and today we have a keyboard package that was sent to us by the kind folks over at Banggood. The package includes a Gamma K LK67, which is starting at a $78 price point during the time of filming, and is also one of the top three trending keyboards currently being sold at Banggood. And the second item that we received from Banggood are the Gatoron Silver's linear switches. These are already pre looped from the factory, and they're featuring a two stage spring design. We were supposed to receive some keycaps, but unfortunately, that did get lost in the shipping. And if you guys want to buy anything that you see in this video, I will drop links to every single part down below. And I do have to mention that I do get a kickback on every item purchased using one of these links since I am part of their affiliate program. Now, let's open up the keyboard box and see what you get inside. First of all, I do have to say that we did get our box absolutely destroyed by shipping. And luckily enough, nothing in this keyboard package was broken. But I do hope to see in the future that Manga does something with their shipping process or potentially upping up their packaging game. Right off the bat, we get a menu start guide on how to use the function layers and the RGB per key lighting, and then the keyboard itself, and then a braided USB-C cable with a switch and keycap puller combo, and then lastly, the 2.4 gigahertz wireless receiver. Now, once you look at this whole entire package at $78, you do have to say, man, this is a bang good value if you ask me. Now, jokes aside, I do have to say that this keyboard hobby is getting much friendlier for many users. Such as someone myself that started this hobby many years ago, it was pretty daunting at times to even start building a keyboard honestly. And before we had big personalities like Taeha and Wildcat making many videos for all of us to watch and learn, we were left to do our own research off of forums such as GeekHack or following Reddit and asking questions here and there. But let's get back to the keyboard build itself. So first things first, we're going to have to remove all the stabilizers and then we're going to mod them with some dielectric grease that I would assume many of you guys have access to or you can buy at your local hardware store. To remove these stabilizers, all you have to do is pry out from the left and right stabilizers and then flip it up and then you can pull the whole entire setup from under the plate by pushing it downwards or upwards depending on where the stabilizer is located. Then we're going to remove the wire from the stabilizers by clipping it off right here and then we're just going to add some dielectric grease to the wire. So what essentially this does is removes all the wire pinging and rattling noises that you get from stabilizers. Now at this point, I would recommend that if you guys do want to get a little bit more enthusiast with your build, you can buy Crytox 20580 lube, which is the general lube that most people use on linear switches and for stabilizer housings. But since I want to make this video for the general person that has, you know, limited access to such things, we're just going to use some dielectric grease. And you might think this is a little bit weird or going to gunk up your stabilizers, but honestly, I've tried this before and it wasn't too bad. And yes, the stabilizers do return up from every single key press. And once you're done with this, all you have to do is clip in the stabilizers back into the PCB exactly the way how we took it out. And another unique thing about this keyboard is that it's got some form of PCB dampening foam between the spacebar and the spacebar gap. And essentially what this does is to reduce out the hollowness and the rattliness of your spacebar. Now for the fun part, let's put our switches into this keyboard. I know that this time I would be modding my switches on a personal build on my other keyboards, but I wanted this keyboard build to be a more fun and easy experience for plug and play. But if you guys want to see a switch looping guide on how I do my switches, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down below and I'll have one out sometime in the future. And as I mentioned earlier before in the video, this is a hot swap keyboard so you don't have to worry about soldering or desoldering anything since you can put these switches directly into the PCB and it's going to work right off the bat. All you have to do is make sure that the switch pins line up with the switch holes and if the switches don't go in nicely or smoothly, odds are you probably bent the pin. But don't worry too much since you can bend the pins back and they'll work perfectly just fine. And with that out of the way, we can finally put the keycaps on and start using this keyboard.
Now that's the sound of this keyboard and if you guys liked it, feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section and let's talk about what you guys thought about this keyboard. Does it need more modifications to help it sound or do you think it sounds just about right? Let me know. Now in my opinion, this is a plastic construction keyboard with an aluminum plate so it has that sound signature that I'm fairly used to. Now for the price breakdown of this keyboard, it comes out to $78 for the base, $33 for the switches, about $20 for the keycaps, and $7 on the duties. Now with everything bundled together, it comes out to $138. But on the keyboard that we have here today on this video, we, we did however miss out on the keycaps, so we did have to buy $60 HA Game keycaps off of Amazon, making this keyboard on this video $171. Now, with what you're getting on this keyboard, it's got a lot to offer, and many keyboards don't even come close to what this is coming in at this price point. And lastly, if you guys do like this video and the content coming out through this channel, feel free to giving it a like, comment, and subscribing to the channel as it does help out a lot. This is BB Tech signing out. Have a great one.